Welcome to the OneSignal product demo. In this video, we will go over the OneSignal dashboard and highlight key features available through the OneSignal platform. If you are looking for setup help, please see our documentation for more videos and detailed instructions. All right, let's get started. After creating an account and adding some apps, this is the main screen you will see when you log in to OneSignal. Here we list the platforms you set up under each app, the amount of subscribed users for each app, an interactive graph of total users by day, and total users for the app. The Options button next to the app is where you can rename or delete your app. If you select one of your apps, you will see its overview. Revoked is the number of previously subscribed users that are opting out through push permissions. This number will go up or down depending on how many subscribed devices unsubscribe then later resubscribe. You can also toggle these graphs by platform and day, month, or year. Let's look at sending notifications in the Messages tab. Here we define our audience. Instead of sending to all users, we can send to a specific group or segment of devices. Here we see a list of segments created previously, but we can also create a new one on the fly. You can see here that OneSignal provides a lot of different filters for targeting users. One of the most popular is the last session filter, which is the last time the user visited the app or site. Let's combine this with the session count filter to target users that have visited the site or app more than three times, so fairly active users. You can combine filters with AND and OR clauses to make the segment customizable to your needs. OneSignal will update the segment count to provide insight on how many devices will be targeted using the combined filters. Let's name the segment and continue. Not only can you add segments to a notification, but you can exclude segments as well. Any devices that are in the excluded segment will not get the notification. We can also test notifications by only sending to the test devices. In the message area, we define our notification content. Let's add a title, message, and even throw some emojis in there. On the right, you can see a preview of what the notification will look like on the different devices. Here we see some different options to further customize the notification based on the features available for that platform. On the right, we see some tips on what those features are with links to more details in our documentation. We can also toggle each platform on or off from receiving notifications. One more option to highlight is the launch URL field. Here we can add a link to the specific URL you want the user to visit when they click the notification. All right, we are ready to schedule and send the notification. The delivery option is the date and time the notification will start going out. Let's schedule this for the next day at 9 a.m. Here on the right, we see this is the correct date we want. OneSignal also provides per user optimizations in case you want to send based on the user's time zone uh, or use the intelligent delivery option, which predicts the most likely time a user will click the notification. This is based on a 24 hour period. Once we click confirm, we are shown the confirmation page to highlight the important details of the notification before sending. Once we click Send, we see the Notification Details page. We will come back to this later. Let's click the Delivery tab to see a list of the previously sent notifications. We can sort these notifications by whether we send them through the dashboard, API, or other options. We can even sort by the devices targeted. For paid plan users, we even have an export feature where you can quickly and easily download your notification data to a CSV. Let's say we want the notification we just scheduled to go out now. In Scheduled Messages, 
we can edit the notification to start sending it immediately. We have received the notification. Clicking it opens the launch URL we added previously, and the notification details are updated in real time. Let's quickly check out the Users tab. Here we see our segments where we can create more anytime. When we click All Users, we can see all device records, both subscribed and unsubscribed, and can toggle the information we want to see. We can even export user records easily to CSV. Back in the Messages tab, let's create a notification template that we can use again and again. Here we see a template already in use where we track how many times this message was clicked, the number of times it was sent, and its conversion rate. Create a template by selecting New Push Template. Simply name the template, and you will see a familiar setup as before when creating a notification. Let's now use the two templates in an A-B test. Select New A-B Test and name the test. Just like in creating a notification, we create or select the segments we want to send to. A-B tests work by first sending the notification to a small group of users within the targeted segment. Once the notifications finish being sent, you can analyze the data to see which one performed better and send the winning notification to the remaining users. Select the template to use for the A test. We can even make last minute updates to the template if we want. Select the B test template or new to create a new notification on the fly. As you can see, the process is very similar to creating a notification, so let's just go ahead and send. Here you would get the updated report of how well each template performed. You can then send the winning notification to the rest of the users in the segment. Let's take a look at one more feature, my favorite feature, the automated messages. Within the Messages tab, select Automated Messages. Automated messages are notifications automatically sent to subscribers when they get added to a segment. This allows you to create drip campaigns and is great for setting up stories or a series of messages very easily. Simply name the automated message for your reference, select the template and segments to target, and the delivery options. Confirm this is the setup you want and press create. That's it. You can set up as many automated messages as you like. More examples and best practices can be found in our documentation. All right, well, thank you for watching this brief demo of the OneSignal dashboard and product overview. We have covered a lot of information, so please feel free to check out our documentation for a deeper dive into these features. My name is John, and thank you for choosing OneSignal.